Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and Reviewing Amazon. <clears throat> I like Amazon lower. I've, I've been liking it lower actually to be honest with you since the earnings. And we had a bunch of calls and they and they literally were just amazing calls. And, and depending on how long you held them, in fact, let me go back and look and see if you held that first one. Shoot, I don't remember if the expiration date was eight, nine. Well, the one I called here, let me just look it up here. Because I mean, this this has really, let's see how fast I can find this. This has really fallen off a planet <clears throat> and, I, and I like it lower. And, and even the way it's it's fallen in here, 726. No, that was an 821. No, when it, when it first got, I didn't call anything out to 89, but then I called a bunch of other ones out to 89. But anyways, this, this move was tremendous if you did this, which I had called this here, and it fell, and it dropped, and it went. And again, long story short, um, you know, if you held this at all, I mean, from Friday, I'm talking about last Friday, so this was a week ago, into the Monday period, it was a tremendous move from where I called it. Um, but if you got out of it Friday the second to get out safe, it was a profitable trade. So I had a bunch of trades in this that were puts, that were options that I called on the options newsletter that worked. I mean, they all worked. And if you held some of them, they were bigger moves. Again, here, this looks good. Call this today, the 1800 puts out till next Friday, which would be the 16th. I mean, this looks great. I mean, this is weak and it's down here in the after hours. Not that that needs to do that. I mean, but if you look at this, you say, gosh, you know, in fact, I'm just gonna look at this here right now and just figure out where I think this could be for the targets. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I think this is one that really is on its own, basically. I mean, here was the earnings. I mean, it's just, you know, this was the day after the earnings and it has fallen every day, literally since the earnings. <laughs> it opened at 1942 on the day after the earnings and it's fallen off a cliff. I mean, the low in here was 1748. That, that's an insane move for this stock. And this stock can really move. So do we go at least down to the previous area, which was 1748, 1750, thereabouts? Yes, we definitely could do that. So again, I called the 1800 puts, they weren't cheap. But of all the ones today that I called, um, I haven't gotten through them all. I've, called, I've looked at a few. I'm gonna get up to speed and everything right now here because we've closed. but. I mean, the reality is that we dropped today in the market and this uh, closed very weak. And honestly, uh, you know, again, I, one, I think it's on its own, but two, you didn't have any rally, any rally that went anywhere in this compared to the market, even at the period that the market rallied, okay? And also, um, you know, it hasn't gone anywhere since the earnings. And I think that that's really important uh, I, I haven't really been calling any longs in the market for overnights because we haven't had the follow through. But either way, what I'm saying is here that Amazon has been selling off and there hasn't been any institutional buyer stepping in here to buy this. And yeah, you can say, well, it had a two day rally in here, but the market did two those days, but it, it, it's pathetic as far as Amazon goes. If you look at it for a rally is my point. And the earnings are done. The earnings are done. So why why would this turn around? So, I mean, to me, this chart, Amazon itself really does look lower. And again, the option today, some people, it could have closed up or break even, even with the rally and the pushback that it had um, at one point, which was basically lunchtime, into the period here with the market, this still closed very, very well. Again, it wasn't cheap. And it's never cheap to do Amazon if you give it any more than five days. But these these moves, these stocks can really, really pay. And even if you do one contract, it can pay. Uh, so this is a this was, I mean, I I've, I've been liking this lower for a while. So we'll see where it goes next week, Monday. So Monday is the 12th. So we'll see where it goes the 12th. Again, the puts expiration is out to the 16th. We'll see what happens. Good luck, everyone that did the Amazon. Good luck. And if you are interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great weekend, everyone.